What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to create drop cap text in Adobe InDesign. Now as you can see I have my InDesign document up and running and as you can see it's two full columns filled with placeholder text. And as you can see they're all separated into paragraphs like this. So what we're going to do is apply drop cap text to this first paragraph and then I'll show you how to do it with all these other paragraphs too. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need is our paragraph window. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go up here to window and I'm going to go all the way down to where it says type in tables and then there should be an option that says paragraph. In my case it's right here on the side but I can click this just to show you guys how to do it in case it's not showing up on your screen. But yeah, your paragraphs window should look something like this. So I'm going to zoom into this first paragraph right here. And I'm going to click anywhere in that paragraph as if I'm about to type something. But we're not going to type anything. I'm just going to like play around with that a little bit. But just to show you guys that we're not really typing anything. We're not doing anything like that. We're just creating the drop cap text. And typically that would be the first letter of that paragraph or word. So, in your paragraph window, there should be an option that says drop cap number of lines. So, when you're reading a newspaper or a book or whatever that has drop cap text, you know that the height of that drop cap text takes up a certain amount of lines. That's what this is asking you. So, by default, it's at one. So, this letter A right here is taking up one line. So, that doesn't really do anything. But if I switch this to two, we can see that the height of this letter A takes up two lines like this. Now you can set that to whatever number you want. I'm going to set it to like about five and that looks pretty good. So we have a letter A and the height of that letter A or drop cap text is five lines tall. That's not an exact measurement, but that's what we indicated down here. But let's say you're not satisfied with the spacing of this letter A along with the paragraph that comes right next to it. So what we're going to do is open up our characters window. So I'm going to go over here to window then go all the way down to where it says type in tables and there's an option for the character window or you can use the keyboard shortcut command T. In my case it's right here on the side but I'm going to click that so that way you know where to go in case it's not on your screen. You can do that or use these options that are right here at the top. Either way it's the same thing but I'm going to highlight this letter A. That's our drop cap text. So what we're going to do is adjust the tracking. We can do that by going over here to this highlighted letter V and A. Now easy way to remember that for me is to remember that that's the abbreviation for Virginia. I'm not from Virginia but I've been to Virginia but I like to think of it that way and it's also a weird thing to say during this video but uh, that's what I like. That's what I like to think of when I think about this uh, tracking option whenever it comes to formatting the text or whatever in InDesign. So yeah, a highlighted letter V and A, that's the tracking. We're going to adjust that to this letter A so that way it's not so close to the paragraph text. So I'm going to adjust that. It adjusts by 10. So every time I hit one of these arrows, it adjusts by 10. And if I adjust it up again, it goes to 20, then 30. Or if you have a specific number, you can easily type that in right here. So I'm going to set that to about 20 and now our drop cap text looks like this. So now let's zoom out so we can see the entire document now that we have this drop cap text in. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut command zero and now we can see that there's a drop cap text right here. Like that's big and bold. Hard to miss. <laughs> But let's say you want to apply a drop cap word instead of just the letter itself. So what we can do is go back to paragraph. It should be right here on the side like this. And right here where we put the number five in earlier, there's an option next to it that asks us how many characters we want to apply a drop cap to. By default, it's at one because typically when you see a drop cap text, it's usually just one letter and it'd be the first letter of a paragraph or whatever it is you're reading. So we can also adjust that by making a custom number in there depending on the amount of characters in a word that you want to apply a drop cap text to. So I'm going to adjust that up to two, then three, then four. And like that option is really up to you, but I'm going to adjust that back to one because I prefer that honestly. But now let's talk about formatting the drop cap text. 
So let's say you don't want the drop cap text to be the same font as the text itself. So what we're going to do is adjust this font and create a character style. Now unlike what I did in my how to create a table of contents in Adobe InDesign video, we created paragraph styles. Instead in this video we're going to create character styles which we can then apply to the entire document if we want. So I'm going to highlight this letter A and I'm going to format that by using a different font style, different color, adjust the tracking and the kerning, all that stuff. I'm going to adjust that and save that as a character style. So I'm going to quickly change the font of that real quick. I'm going to change that to one of my favorite fonts, Riffic Free. And then I'm going to go over here to character styles and click that. And by default it says none. So I'm going to hit this button that says create a new style. I'm going to quickly name that by double clicking on that, hitting drop cap character style. And instead of hitting OK right now, we can also adjust anything else that we want to adjust about this uh, drop cap character within this window. So if you want to adjust the color, you can do that in here. I'm going to change that to a red. And any other changes that you want to make, you can put a strike through on it. You can put an underline on it. It might change up anything else, like with the tracking, the kerning. You can do all that stuff within this window. And like the tracking we already messed with, so I'm going to mess with that again. I'm going to adjust it to 40. And since preview is on, so little checkbox is checked. I'm going to adjust that and we can see that we made that change. See? So I'm going to change that to 40. And then if we go back to general, it shows us our style settings in wording, like with the color, the tracking, the font, the text style, all that stuff. All the changes that we made all together would be in this box right here. So with all our changes being done, we can hit OK. Of course, if there are any other changes that you want to make, you can make those changes. Now I'm going to do that really quickly so I can show you guys how to redefine a textile in case there is something you want to change about it. So uh, I'm going to adjust the tracking one more time like this. I'm going to adjust it to 30. And then if we go back to our character styles window, you can see that we have our character style defined and like right next to it, there's going to be a plus sign right next to it. That's InDesign telling us that we made a change to this character style. So if we're super satisfied with this change, we can right click on that and hit redefine like that. And if we wanna apply this same text style to another drop cap within our document, we can easily highlight a piece of text and it will apply to this character style that we defined earlier. Now, let me show you guys how to create a whole new drop cap text within your document. So here's another paragraph that's underneath the one that we just messed with. So I'm going to hit the backspace or delete button. I'm going to make sure it goes with the first paragraph, right? And then I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, we created a whole new drop cap letter within the paragraph that follows it. But we want that letter E to be the same format as the letter A. So because we created a character style over here, we can simply highlight this letter E and hit drop cap character style. That's our character style name. And as you can see, the letter E is formatted to look like the letter A. And now let me do the same thing with the next paragraph right here. So I'm going to go and align it with the previous paragraph because that has a drop cap text on it. Then I'm going to hit enter. And now we have a drop cap letter B. So highlight that letter B, click on our character style, and it would quickly format to the same character style as this letter A and this letter E. But let's say all of a sudden you don't want that drop cap text to be in those two paragraphs, you just want it in just the first one. So you can go back to highlight that letter E, or you know what, let's highlight the letter B and the letter E or just both of these paragraphs. We can go back to our character styles and hit none. And now as you can see, we got rid of the formatting, but the drop cap letter is still there. So we're gonna highlight these paragraphs one more time 
Then we're gonna go back to paragraph, which is right here. And then this little drop box that we messed with from before, we're gonna change that number from five back to one and then hit enter. And now our drop cap text is no longer there. But if you suddenly want it back again, all you gotta do is highlight that first letter, go to character styles, drop cap character style. So the formatting is there. So let's go hit delete, delete, make it go with the paragraph, hit enter, hit enter again to space it out. And there we got our drop cap text back again. So yeah, that's how you create drop cap text in Adobe InDesign. So if you like this video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I got my nigga like Pat Kate.